Hello everyone, happy New Year's Eve to you all. I hope it's nice and crafty. Today we're gonna to create a New Year's Day card with a brand new stamp set over at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. It's called Happy New Year. It's a smaller stamp, but I always love the smaller stamps if you know my channel. I'm gonna pair it with an older Newton's New Year stamp set with the coordinating dies. I wanted to use the champagne glass in there. I also, before we get started, want to share with you an amazing sale that's happening over at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. Um, if you use that coupon code here, it, you can get 20% off your entire order, which I think is pretty amazing. So um, that's I just wanted to share that with you in case you wanted to check it out. <laughs> I'll leave the shop link down below if you guys want to to go do a little shopping for your new year holiday. Okay, we are going to jump in. This is a, a smaller two by three stamp set that says Happy New Year. And I've always said this, the smaller ones are small but mighty. <laughs> I loved just how it makes a perfect focal image on your card. I'm gonna stamp that with Memento ink on some white card stock. And then after we have that stamp, I'm gonna take the champagne glass and then uh, Newton's New Year stamp set. We're actually gonna create quite a few champagne glasses. So I'm gonna stamp it. We're gonna go eight eight times. I might not use them all, but it's better to go more than less, right? And that, my eighth one didn't stamp too well, so I guess we're going to color in seven champagne glasses. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and speed it up a little bit. To color in champagne glasses, it's pretty easy. I'm just highlighting with my W1 marker on the edges of all the champagne glasses, and since I want this to be a pink champagne. Um, I'm going to bring in a little bit of pink in the middle. To, to color in my glass portion, I'm using my C1 marker, highlighting the glass with that, and then my RB10 is what I'm going to add for some pink champagne. Never had pink champagne. Actually, I'm not a champagne person. I love the way it looks. I think it looks so fancy, but um, I tried it once, and I don't know if it's a cheap champagne, but it gives me awful headaches. <laughs> but I sure love the look of it, so... I'm going for a pink champagne card today. Once my images are colored in, I'm going to zoom back out here, I'll take the coordinating die for the Newton's New Year die set and die cut out all of my champagne glasses. And then um, after, we're just going to tape this die down. And then I, I'm going to bring in my frames and flags die set. There is a die that it has oval corners and stitch detail. I'm going to tape this down and grab my, my frames and flag set, grab that die and create a background panel. Now I'm gonna center this, that's my frames and flags. This is gonna, my sentiment's gonna go a little bit towards the top because the champagne glasses are gonna be on the bottom. So making sure it's centered, I'll tape it down and then this is gonna go through the die cutting machine. And then while I'm die cutting, I'm gonna bring in my Banner Trio die set and now this die set is currently out of stock right now at the Newton's Nook Design Shop, but any kind of banner die you have would work. You can create your own banners or the Frames and Flags die set actually has a banner in there that you could use too. I just like the stitch detail of this one. I'm gonna die cut out three banners with green, pink, and a pale gray cardstock. And then also I'm gonna bring in some silver glitter cardstock and cut out a banner with that. And I ended up cutting out some white cardstock banners too. Once everything's die cut, we are going to stamp some little champagne bubbles in the Newton's New Year stamp set. There is some little bubbles you can accent with, and I'm gonna stamp this around my sentiment, just kind of filling in that open area. I wanted it, my card to look like as if the pink champagne was just kind of floating up, and I think um, bubbles will help do that. <laughs> okay, I think that looks great. After we have the bubbles, I need to color them in a little bit. I added a little bit of pink and then the warm gray, the W1 marker for the bubbles on my sentiment. So I'm just coordinating the same kind of bubble so it kind of blends better. I'm gonna cut my banners in half. Um, this is gonna stretch them out and I thought we'd create a banner filled bottom on our panel. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use all the, the white um, banners, but I had them just in case. I'm gonna add some glue on the very bottom edge of this panel. We're gonna add a green, then we'll add a pink first. Pink, and then our, we'll add our green. We have to flip it back over and add a little more adhesive since we're gonna overlap our banners. 
So we'll add our green, flip it over, add some adhesive, and I think we're gonna add some silver sparkle next. Actually, we'll add a gray. After we have it all done, I do have a little ink smudge I'm gonna erase with my sand eraser, but I just want a little bit of those banners peeking out of the bottom, and I just think it looks, and just ended up using one half of the silver right in the center. I'm gonna add some white twine on the very bottom. I'm gonna wrap it around twice, and then I'll tie a bow off to the left of this panel. Ideally, if I had some silver um, thread, I would have loved, or some silver twine, I would have loved to wrap the silver around it to give it a more festive look. But white, I think, just looks just as pretty. After we tied our bow, I'm gonna add foam adhesive behind the back. We're not gonna remove the release paper just yet. Um, we're gonna flip it around and add our champagne bottles. I have a leftover piece of foam adhesive. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut some very thin strips and place them on my champagne glasses. And we are gonna add them to the bottom of our panel. And you know, seven actually worked out fabulous. I didn't think if eight I wouldn't have used, I probably would have put the eighth one on the inside of my card. So seven worked out great. Love the way this looks. Some are overhanging on the left and right. Some are on top of the twine, but I love the way that looks. Okay, we're gonna take some pale gray cardstock. We used one of these pieces um, for one of our banners. Um, this is a card front panel. I'm gonna add um, that to my embossing folder that has some very small polka dots on it. I embossed that. I'm gonna flip it over and add some adhesive behind this. Um, and I didn't realize, but my panel size is a little bit longer than the card front size. So I end up trimming off the very bottom. So it's just completely covered our card front. And I think that texture in the background is gonna work out great. We're gonna remove the release paper, add our panel a little bit towards the top of our card. After we have this adhered, we get to add some bells and whistles. I'm just making sure it's centered. I wasn't sure if I should go all the way to the top or not, and I did end up going all the way to the top here. Okay, bells and whistles, I'm bringing in some very itty bitty um, round bubbles. We're gonna add lots to our background. I added a few on top of the, the glasses, a few on the inside of the stamped uh, bubbles, and then a few outside of those bubbles. Once we have our gems adhered, I'm gonna bring in my Journey Glaze. Um, we'll just put these aside. Journey Glaze is like a glossy accents. Um, and I love adding Journey Glaze to glass glasses to just give it more of a glass look. It dries crystal clear, and so it's perfect for the champagne glasses. I'm gonna go over all of them. And then there's a few bubbles. I'm gonna add um, the, stamp, the stamp bubbles. I'm gonna add some uh, journey glaze to the top of those too, just to create um, some clear gloss on those. Now, at, once we have this done while our journey glaze is still wet, I love doing this effect because it's so neat when it dries, guys. I'm taking some coarse glitter. It's an iridescent, thicker, coarse glitter, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of these on top of my champagne glasses. It's really gonna look like they're filled with bubbles, and I love doing this. I think it looks fabulous. Okay, I just tapped off the excess glitter and that's my project for today, guys. I wish you all a fantastic 2021. I know it's gonna be amazing. Um, and Newton's Nook Design actually invited me back um, next year to create some videos for them. So I'm so looking forward to that. Um, I also encourage you guys to check out that sale. It's 20% off sale and it ends um, the end of New Year's Day. So to tomorrow's actually the last day for you guys to get this super savings. Have a great day. Thanks for stopping by and we will see you next year. Bye-bye.